If you've ever wanted to know who the true top 10 best superheroes of all time are, this is the video for you, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I've seen other lists out there that give the same top 10 superheroes over and over and over. Why? Just because they're the most popular? But popularity doesn't mean they're the best. When I created this list, I looked at everything. What makes a hero? What effect they've had on their universes and comics? How they became superheroes? And what they've accomplished? And what they've sacrificed? Here's the top Top 10 list of the best superheroes of all time. Coming in at number 10, Outburst. With his first appearance in the Death of Superman storyline as a teenager who hates Superman because Guy Gardner is so much cooler. Until that is, when Superman saves his family and him from the monster Doomsday. Mitch travels to Metropolis after the Man of Steel dies and has a change of heart. The Justice League answer a letter to Superman by returning Mitch's father to the family. A year later, Mitch went and gathered the friends and family of those who died in Doomsday's rampage and returned to the site where Doomsday first appeared. Mitch eventually develops the metahuman powers of electromagnetism and became the superhero Outburst. At the beginning of his costume career, Mitch tried to become Superman's sidekick, but the Man of Steel turned him down. Lex Luthor then recruited him to lead a teenage superhero team in Metropolis named the Supermen of America. Under the leadership of Outburst, the SOA nearly managed to place Luthor behind bars for good. However, Superman worked out a deal to keep his silence in exchange for Luthor releasing the SOA from their contract and allowing them to keep everything. At number 9 we have Shazam, also known as Captain Marvel. Earth's mightiest mortal might be as powerful as Superman, but he has the mind of a child. Billy Batson proved himself worthy to become Captain Marvel at an incredibly young age. Suffering through poverty as a homeless orphan and standing up to the bullies long before he had any powers to speak of, Billy continues to fight for all that is right, even taking on beings far more powerful than himself, such as Black Adam and Superman himself. Next up, we have Spider-Man. Since getting bitten by a radioactive spider while in high school, Peter Parker learned the hard way that with great power comes great responsibility. Over the years, Spidey has taken on several beings far more powerful than himself, and even knows when to acknowledge his own mistakes. Pete has learned a lot in his time as a hero, and oftentimes stands alone even among other heroes in his convictions. He's single-handedly taken on the X-Men, Avengers, Sinister Six, and a legion of clones. Coming in at the number 7 spot we have Tim Drake, formerly Robin, now Red Robin. He wasn't born into the life, nor did it go looking for him. Rather, he used his own developed skills to deduce the identity of his childhood idol, Dick Grayson, who at the time was known as Robin, and eventually became Nightwing. And with that, Batman's identity. Batman has even stated at many times that Tim is a far better detective than he, and possibly a better gymnast than Dick. Tim even has superior hacking abilities to that of Barbara Gordon and has proven himself time and again, being the only person to believe that Bruce was still alive and lost in time. On several occasions, he's led several teams of heroes far more powerful than himself, such as Young Justice, Teen Titans, and even the Bat Family itself. Sheena the Jungle Queen is coming in at number 6, the female version of Tarzan. Sheena makes this list simply because she was the first ever female comic book superhero. She's also inspired numerous pop culture songs such as Sheena is a Punk Rocker by the Ramones and Crush on You by Bruce Springsteen. In a time when women were considered less than men, Sheena stood tall and proved that anything a man could do, women could do, and in some cases, even better. She was also among the chief inspirations for Wonder Woman. The number five spot belongs to the Shadow. Over the years, the Shadow has inspired numerous other heroes who came after him. Batman, Doc Savage, the Rocketeer, Darkwing Duck, the Avenger, the Grey Ghost, etc. If it weren't for the Shadow's inspiration of Doc Savage, then Savage would have never inspired Superman. Coming in at number 4 we have Invincible, the son of the superhero Omni-Man. Invincible stood against his father when he discovered he was part of an alien invasion force and defeated him in order to save the planet. He did this not once, but twice when he traveled back in time to the day he first got his powers. 
We're coming into the home stretch now with number three. We have Spawn. Al Simmons was a soldier who was sent to hell and chosen to lead the Devil's Army. He accepted this in order to return to his wife Wanda. He later turned on the Devil and decapitated Mal Bolgia, becoming the new ruler of hell, and later gave up the title. He's taken on the forces of heaven, hell, and earth, and eventually became a god. He's since returned to the world of the living in his human body, but with all the powers of Spawn, with no power limit, and the Sword of God. Now at number two, we have Kyle Rayner. Kyle became the only Green Lantern after Hal Jordan went crazy and wiped out the Corps with no one to train him in how to use his powers. He rebuilt the Green Lantern Corps, constructed Hal Jordan's memorial after he sacrificed himself to reignite the sun, brought Hal back from the dead. He was given godlike powers when he became Ion and used that power to make a real difference in the universe and even gave up that power. He's also the only person to have obtained the powers of the White Lantern the hard way by mastering every Every other type of power ring and using them together he's brought together all of the entities in himself as well he found his girlfriend dead and crammed into a refrigerator and then went up against her killer the one-time hero turned villain major force and even restored john stewart's legs after he was paralyzed from the waist down Finally, here at the top of the list, the number one spot belongs to the Silver Surfer. Not only is he one of the most powerful heroes in this list, but Norrin Rad was just an ordinary person until Galactus came to feed on his planet. Norrin sacrificed himself, pledging to serve as Galactus's herald if the being would spare his planet and would lead Galactus to uninhabited worlds to keep other civilizations from being destroyed just so Galactus could live. The Silver Surfer once again pled for Galactus to spare a planet when he stood up to him to protect Earth, but trapped the Surfer within Earth's galaxy, making sure that he could never return home. The Surfer gave up ever seeing his family again in order to spare not just his own planet, but every planet with sentient life and made the choice a second time to save Earth. So there you go guys, the top 10 best superheroes. I hope you enjoyed this list. There's a lot happening here on Come Again TV and we hope you'll join us by hitting the subscribe button and clicking on the little bell to receive notifications on all our uploads. Thanks for tuning in guys, I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Take care.